You feel me? Oh. I am now. Peek, peek. <laughs> he's pulling the cocoa. Hi, huh, Snort. All right, well, he's there. I can give him something. All right, Snort. All right, are we filming? Filming. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Man, it is like in the 50s. This is insane. As you can see, it's not my normal attire. We're going to have to move this show inside, inside here in another month or so. Maybe another week or so. Okay, so... Uh, coffee and questions. Question of the day from Bert. Bert G. I think it's Bert Graham, but uh, I'm sorry if I've got that wrong. But I, this is a, a comment off of one of our YouTube videos. I have a question for you. On one of your recent videos, someone asked if you routed a keyhole in the back of the sign or made sign or made holes to hang it. You mentioned you drill a hole. By any chance, can you give us a visual? Are you saying you just drill a hole? through the sign or do you add sign hangers? Okay, so here's what I do. So this is just a standard sign and this is what I do on our standard signs. We didn't prep this, babe, but I'm hoping that you can zoom in. I drill holes in the top and the bottom of all my standard signs, unless specifically my customer asks me not to and they're gonna mount it a different way. Our focus is frozen. <laughs> our focus is moving slow. Put it down just a little bit more, I don't. Yeah, there we go. Got it there? Yeah. Well, I'm going to show another sample, too, another example. So anyway, so when I talk about drilling holes, this is what I'm talking about, guys. I normally drill in the top, and then I drill holes in the bottom, too, in case later on they want to buy a sign and hang it, uh, a second sign and hang it underneath. So um, that's what I talk about. Now, if a customer specifically asks me to drill through the sign because they're going to screw it to the house or, or whatever, then I'll do that. But my, again, my standard... My standard process is drilling holes in the top, <coughs> excuse me, the top and bottom edges. <coughs> so this is what it looks like when they hang. There's a screw eye in the top, a screw eye, or the bottom of one, and the top of the other if they're hanging underneath, and then uh, put it together with S hooks, and then I just close them up. Or the, I, actually, the customer does that. So in this particular instance, I've drilled holes in the top of this as well, and then I supply four. Uh, screw eyes, four of these screw eyes and two S hooks per sign. So if I was shipping this, I wouldn't put it together. I would just give them four S uh, screw eyes and two S hooks for the bottom one and for the top one. That's that's my normal process. So uh, again, I've got one right now, a 12 by 24 that I made this morning that um, they're going to put it on posts so I don't drill any holes in it. So it's, that's, but my standard is to drill holes like this. So, hope that helps. Uh, sign carver of the day. This is my Golden Valley buddy, Skip O'Brien. All right, let's see what I can Really do. has turned into a first class sign maker. I know you'll be, you'll be happy, Skip. I actually, I saw Skip yesterday, came by and showed me some more, some stuff he was doing. Uh, so good job on this, Skip. I wish the picture was a little bit closer, but I'll just do what we can here. Okay, that's about right. Yeah, I it's it's a picture that's far off. So um, anyway, sign carver of the day, Skip. Congratulations. All right, you guys. So uh, the uh, remember the the LTS is only uh, a week away. So uh, get me your road. get me your questions and uh, and. My wife's uh, whispering to me from behind the camera, directing. Uh, we're going to be taking this uh, show on the road uh, starting on Monday. So we've um, got some, some fun stuff to share with you. So anyway, um, everybody have a great weekend, and we will see you uh, Monday morning. Bye-bye.